welcome to Divine Debut. Hello, nice to have you on board. This is Divine Debut and Kathy speaking for your October 2016 love reading Virgo. Today's the 3rd of October and I don't know about you guys but doing these readings I tried last weekend was impossible. I gave up. Mercury was still in shadow, it was just impossible and I said that's it, they're not getting done. So I'm late again. I think that Mercury has gone forward now and that's why these readings I'm getting through them and they're uploading well and I don't want to jinx myself. I've done, I did two yesterday and I'm doing the rest of them today. I do thank you all for your, for your patience and your support and I am back home now <sighs> been quite a difficult time and um, let's just hope for the best one piece of advice is do go for what you believe in And try and put yourselves first for once. One last shuffle, Virgo, for the month of October 2016, love. Virgo, here's your spread. Two of Wands. In the reverse, I'm doing reversals today for this month. The Nine of Cups, which is the wish card, that's the crossing card. Temperance is at the base of your reading. The Four of Cups is in the near past. The Ten of Cups is at the crowning position. The Page of Wands is in the near future position and you know I think this is the first time that the Page of Wands is showing up in the October readings and I got a glimpse of it as I was shuffling and I said oh this card hasn't been used at all this uh, for October and here it is. Okay the Lovers which is in the reverse in the advice position and how people see you and also the Lovers is the first time that it's showing up as well. The Eight of Cups in the environment position. The Five of Cups in the hopes and fears. And the Emperor in the reverse, which is the outcome card. And I will be pulling one more card. And the Two of, two of Cups in the reverse, right next to the Emperor. At the bottom of your reading is the King of Wands and he's in the reverse. Now I will be using the Sibylas, La Vera Sibyla, for more information. And um, this is the little box they come in. They come from Masangini, uh, La Vera Sibyla, and they are plastic cards and they come from Italy. They're really lovely. And also for a special message, Fairy Tarot Cards by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. I will just take a minute out to look at your reading. And I will be right back with that. Thanks. Virgo, I'm back. Jesus, we have a lot of cup cards. We've got five cup cards. Six. We've got the ten of cups, which is the crowning card. Four of cups in the near past, that's two. Three with the nine of cups. Four with the eight of cups. Five six cup cards in all the readings so I can see that there is a lot of emotion here a lot now in the near past there was an offer of love either from you or from your partner an offer of love which was not reciprocated uh, this person doesn't look as though they're ready to accept this offer of love 
um, this guy is focusing on the three cups instead of the one that is handed to him. So fours are all about our home, our roots, our stability. Um, so there is no stability in our in our home situation. There is um, no reciprocity, no giving or taking, no no acceptance. Um, there hasn't been anyway, I should say, because it's in the near past. Um, I can see that you're on a new path. Um, you're trying to get on a new path, but there is something blocking you. There is a blockage here. The Two of Wands, when it's in the upright, says that there is a new path that you are looking at. Um, this person is looking out onto the horizon looking across the seas and he's holding the world ball, the, the world in his hand. So it looks as though he's ready to go on a voyage, ready, ready to travel, to move to his new path. But there is a blockage. Something is stopping him from moving forward. And wands are all about fire and passion, yeah? So I can see that you are very passionate about this new path, but there is something that is holding you back. Now the challenge card is the Nine of Cups. Your challenge is to create your wish, to manifest your wish. But it never is easy, is it? No, because it's in the, the challenge position. So you are being challenged by this. But there is a uh, progression because crowning your reading is the Ten of Cups. And that speaks of a happy family, a happy happiness in the of the heart in the home with a family with the children um, this is what's on your mind this is probably what you're hoping to manifest at the bottom of the reading is the um, temperance card it's a major arcana card so it does speak quite strongly we've got three major arcana cards here um, this is the card of Sagittarius you are hoping to be balanced out. You are hoping to to accomplish um, what this angel this angel is um, mixing this drink, whatever it is, um, this potion, trying to make magic, trying to manifest something that is going to balance him out. Um, again, he's stepping in the water, so um, there is a lot of emotion here again. But this is your spirits and your angels. This is the universe trying to bring you balance. And it also speaks of patience. So I know that Virgo is a very patient sign. And um, there has been a lot of patience. But do persevere because this is your angel. Okay, trying to manifest what uh, what what is due to come to you. Okay. Virgo, because I do know that Virgos are very hard workers. They give everything. They give all of themselves. And so there is guidance here to just be patient a little bit more. Now at the bottom of the deck we've got the uh, King of Wands. This is a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Um, he is in the reverse, which says that he is not able, he's not in a position to rule his kingdom in a very um, stable sort of a way. He is lacking in something. Either he's not being spontaneous, as he usually is, and he's not being loving and nurturing because uh, they're his um, true qualities when he's in the upright. Being in the reverse says that there is something wrong Something has happened and this King of Wands is not in his rightful mind at the moment. This could be your energy, Virgo. It could be, but I will be looking at the Sibylas. Um Also, being the card of Sagittarius, um, the time when the sun moves into Sagittarius may be quite important for you, Virgo which is just around the corner, really. Okay, we've got another fire sign here in the near future. This is a messenger. This is the Page of Wands. A youthful energy and a um, 
a leap forward, I would say, this person, this card, I should say, is the minor arcana of the full card. So it is someone who dives in head first because they are a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, and there is a, a lovely, passionate message coming forward in your near future. Also, this is a person who is quite abundant in, uh, in the physical realm. Now, in the advice position and how people see you, we have the lovers in the reverse. Okay, and this is the first time that the lovers has showed up in the readings of October. Um, this means head over heart decision. Many times it's a karmic relationship but it's not in its righteous position, it's not in the upright, which says to me that there has been hardship and a dropping of the ball. There has been a problem within this relationship and I think that it is moving out. And I'm saying that because we've got the Eight of Cups, which is in the environment position, and it looks to me as though someone is moving away from what they have invested in for so long, they are moving to something much more fulfilling and much more emotionally um, emotionally fulfilling situation. Okay, so uh, this could be you or this could be your partner. I will be pulling some Sibylas. Um, I just noticed the moon there and this is night time so just, you know, take that into account. The moon's out there, so we may be dealing with full moon energy. Now, above that, in the hopes and fears position, we've got the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is mourning over these three spilt cups, um, not looking behind at the two cups that are still standing. It's a card of, it's a number five, so... Someone is conflicted, someone is not able to move past their mourning stage, their uh, heartache, their problematic relationship. They are focusing on those three cups, but there is still hope. This is the don't give up yet card, okay? And that's in the hopes and fears position. And I'm sure that you are fearing this, you are not hoping for that. And then we've got the emperor, which is in the reverse. This is the card of Aries. This emperor is not ruling his kingdom in, in a right, rightful way. He is not doing the right thing by his, his, um, his loved ones, his family, his tribe. He's not able to rule. He's not in a position to rule. And there is no wisdom here because this is someone who is quite wise. Look at his grey beard and his grey hair. So obviously this emperor is acting quite selfishly and quite um, um, immature, immaturely, very immaturely. And that is your partner, of course, because right next to it is the Two of Cups, which means that you guys are not on the same page. There is no understanding. This karmic relationship... I think it's time for it to come to an end. There is going to be a um, a because there are so many differences in opinion, and you are having trouble. Yes, making up your mind, even though you know what you need to do. Um, the fact that it is in the reverse, you are having a lot of trouble getting through to this person. And I would say that. There is the blockage, the new path, there is the blockage, there is no movement forward, right? So for the people who are partnered up and living with someone who is not able to be mature and look after and, you know, make everyone feel secure and happy and, and there's a lot of immaturity here. I think that's why you are focusing, Virgo, on the spilt cups, but you are not noticing the two cups that are still standing. Okay? And those two cups that are still standing may be relating to this fire sign. 
Now, this fire sign and this king of wands could be the same character. I will be pulling some Sabilas. I would like to look at I would like to look at this page of wands first of all which is showing up in the near future position Denaro which means stability and uh, abundance and uh, also this card speaks of an abundance in a marriage so it could be on the financial realm or just a lot of giving and taking and sharing yeah and I did mention before that this page of wands seems to be in a financially secure um, position domestico someone close at home someone who is there to help out the situation and messagero there's your message so there is going to be a very positive message coming in for you Virgo okay and um, there is going to be help along the way because we've got the uh, domestico so this message is coming to you at home and it's going to be a blessing for you let's look at this king of wands Fortuna, which is the will of fortune. Imeneo, contracts, relationship, partnership. Pensiero, this reminds me of the hermit card. Someone is taking a lot of, is putting a lot of thought into the situation. Um, so this King of Wands is your partner. But there will be a message, a very youthful and spontaneous and beautiful message coming for you. He's not in the upright because he may be putting a lot of thought into his, into his life regarding a partnership and there is going to be a change for the better. Okay. And he is right next to the four he is looking at the Four of Cups. Now either you've made the uh, offer of love or he or she have made the offer of love to you. I would like to look at now, I'd like to look at the Eight of Cups. Legeresa, lightness of the heart. Letera, which is a letter, a message. And stanza, which is secrets or intimacy, because this is the room. So it looks as though whoever is moving on is going to be messaged regarding an intimacy, regarding a relationship which is going to make them very happy. So I would say, Virgo, this is you moving on, onto a new relationship, a new intimate relationship with this King of Wands. And there will be messages coming in for you regarding the security, your security. Let's look at the lovers. Grand Signore, the VIP, the entrepreneur, the very important person, the person of abundance. Alegria, uh, which is going out and having fun with your friends, um, you know, letting your hair down, taking time out of relationships. And Delirante, 
there he is again with his uh, three mates. So, okay, it's either you or it's either your partner. Someone is taking out time because they are very, very much in love, uh, taking time out. Um, this is the person that is trying to be manifested. So um, this is your partner. Um, and you are, I would say, going out trying to party because trying to forget because the lover's card is in the reverse. And I don't think that this lover's card is dealing with the emperor. I'm going to pull some Sabilas. I think this is your your partner that is moving out because he hasn't been able to pick up his game. And there is the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in this King of Wands. Constanza, La Reunion, and Prigione. Yeah, so someone is tied down and not they're not able to have a reunion. Okay? So with this emperor, maybe there have been difficulties from the past and maybe... Um, being in this partnership has been very difficult, constantly difficult. But there have been tries, um, you know, suggestions of coming back together, but the chains, they just won't, you know, they don't let you move. You feel chained and bound. So maybe this this emperor is someone who likes to tie their their partner down, make them feel like they're, you know, nothing. Because being in the reverse, it's a very terrible character. Okay. Mm. Okay, Virgo, I think I'll leave it at that with the Sabilas. It's been a long day. I would like to pull a card, a message card for you. I should mention to the singles that there is a fire sign coming into their lives, but mostly for the partnered people, um, do not despair, um, because the one of the one of the eclipses was in Virgo, and that you know that means endings and new beginnings. Looks as though, as I said, we're still in the uh, in the energies of those eclipses. And for some of you, you're, you have already gone through a breakup. Others of you are going through an, a breakup. I do know that Pluto is in Virgo's fifth house and Pluto is actually moving forward now. So... Um, And Saturn is in our fourth house, which means trying to do the right thing at home. So, please, universe, can you give me one more message for our dear Virgos for the month of October 2016 regarding their love life? One more shuffle, Virgo. This card is... This card is looking up at me. There we go. Okay, King of Autumn. This is your Grand Signor de Virgo. King of Autumn, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic and gifted. Uh, remember how I said that this uh, page of, uh, the Page of Wands was the same character as the King of Wands, who was in the reverse. I did say that it is someone who is quite abundant in the uh, material realm, in the um, financial, financially stable. Um, and the card says, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good personal company to work for. 
This is the King of Pentacles. So this could be a Virgo, like yourself, a Taurus or a Capricorn. Okay, for some of you it's going to be an Earth sign, for others of you it's going to be a uh, Fire sign. It could be an Earth sign who is who is um, taking on the energies of Fire. Uh, and then again, don't always, you know, depend on the star sign because many, the sun sign, because many times um, their moon or their rising can be showing up. Okay, and um, yeah, I have the feeling this is your partner. So Virgo, I do wish you well for October. I hope that all goes really well for you in the um, in the love department. Um, I will be trying to post more videos for you in the near future. I'm just trying to get organized. As I said, I'm back home. Um, and I would like to, you know, especially thank all of you for being so patient for these readings. And you are the last sign that I'm doing for the month of October. Uh, but I do appreciate all of you. And as I've said to other signs, um, all the messages that are sent to me, you know, the comments, I do try and answer all, but I do read all of them. If not, if I haven't answered, it doesn't mean that I haven't read the comments. So you are all appreciated and uh, I send my blessings to all of you. Have a wonderful month of October and keep yourselves well. Blessings to all of you. Bye for now.